and welcome to Wake Up CU, the talk show by students for students. I'm Danielle Stansel, and hosting the show with me is Gray Barnhill. Hey everyone, we are streaming live today for the very first time, and we've got a lot of fun stuff planned for you. Hot Topics, the Campbell Election Day, and Jared Yaw and Rachel Nelson from CAB are coming on later as well. That would be great. But before we start the show, we'd like to take a moment to remember the victims from the school shooting on last week in Florida. 17 people were killed, including Aaron Fellas, an assistant football coach who used his body to save the students in his class. Also, on top of that, this is the 18th school shooting since January. So we want to send our thoughts and prayers to Florida and to the families of those members. Most definitely. Now we're going to move into our first section of the show. Hot topics. The Olympics are still going strong, and so is Team USA. Awesome. That's like crazy. They're killing it. Killing it. Uh, so the USA is currently in fifth with 16 gold medals, or 16 medals, six gold, four silver, and six bronze. The first U.S. medal in cross-country skating. First of all, I didn't even know cross-country skating was a thing. It's, I, I, and I think it's like a triathlon almost. So they like ski and then they like stop and do stuff. And they like ski and stop and do stuff. That's crazy. Well, on top of that, two women actually won the medals for the U.S. And it's the first time that the U.S. has ever won these medals. So, like, this is the first time that, like, the U.S. has gotten a medal in cross-country skiing, and they won the gold. That's great. Which, it's amazing. And they took on teams like Norway and, yeah. Yeah. No. And we have the medal count, I believe, somewhere, so we can see kind of, like, what's going on with the medal count as of this morning. Uh, we just wanted to show that to you. There it is. So Norway's at the top with 23, or uh, 33 medals. Uh, Germany in second with 24, and Canada with 21 in third. In Norway the has 13 Did or I 30. Read it wrong? I think it was it's 33. It's okay. It's okay. It's, it's okay. Well, well, let's talk about figure skating because you have something fun and interesting okay, about that. So I was uh, watching TV yesterday and I saw this thing and it was like zodiac signs that go with your or like yeah Olympic sports that go with your zodiac sign and so i was looking it up so taurus um is actually figure skating um so that's what you are right you're yeah. a taurus yep i do not like and figure skating do i look like a figure skater no who knows maybe it's your dream <laughs> hey um and then i'm a cancer um and it says maya shibutani part of the brother sister duo and uh figure skater maya shibutani is going into her second olympic games while she and her brother Alex, who's a Taurus, mm -hmm. um, didn't place as well as they hoped in 2014, um, but it says that Cancer has loyalty and they're back to renew their confidence. Whereas Taurus, for you, uh, a Taurus must be hardworking, patient, stubborn, but That's also me. have a keen eye for beauty, which makes figure skating perfect. That is very true. Also, quick fun fact, they also have a Snapchat story. If you didn't know that, they had a Snapchat story. The the brother and sister. Oh, they had yeah. their own Snapchat story. Yes, That's and they so were like cool. taking everybody through like their practices, and they were singing in the car. Right. Fun fact. Just That's saying, so cool. If you didn't know that. And I believe a lot of people in the U.S. are actually like getting into the Olympics here at home and cheering on their teams um, in Pyeongchang. Uh, there's actually a video that we have of uh, some people that they were trying curling. In, uh, what a toy is store. curling? It's you know the like they like slide on the ice and like throw the thing, and then they like oh, okay, sweep gotcha. in front I'm of there. it. I'm there. I'm uh, there. So there's there's the video right there. Whoa! Wait, they're using they're actually using a robot to do this. Yeah, they're using BB-8. So which means like is somebody like controlling the robot or is it just like doing it by itself? I don't know. I just think it's so funny <laughs> though, because they're like sweeping in front of it. And that's how you support your team. Bullseye, in the right? That's Definitely. just so awesome. I just love that video. Try it in a tour store. Why not? <laughs> There's been a lot of other videos that I've seen too um, that people are doing things like that. So definitely really cool. So here's another fun fact. Let's talk about the movie Black Panther who that has come out this past week and has hit everything in it, the box everything. office. Everything. It is uh, $40 million on press day and then $241 million in North America so far. That's a lot Just of money. Just in North America. That That's is a lot, a lot of, of money. money. It's crazy. Yes. So the movie is actually based off an African-American superhero? That's what, that's what I know that's of That's what it. we can yeah. say. Okay. So African-American superhero. And this is the first Marvel movie that has an all-African-American cast. Yes, it is. So many people are going out to the movie dressed up. 
Yeah. In and African American attire, in all black. Yeah, I've seen uh, like different pictures and stuff, and there was this guy that I saw that was like full Black Panther suit, like Head to going toe. to the movies. Yeah, he was just ready. Completely. He was about to and be I in was Black like, Panther. You're a real fan, right? <laughs> <laughs> but here's the funny thing. Let's talk about the two little boys who actually tried to sneak into Black Panther on top of each other. So they only had enough money <laughs> for one ticket. So these two boys dressed up in a trench coat and wa are trying to walk up to the um, box, office. box office to get tickets. And the manager is just not having it. <laughs> Wait, watch the lady, watch the lady. She's like, the <laughs> Why she? <laughs> okay. Like, that's, they wanted the two for one special. But they I did mean, not get it that sure, day because right? exactly. they need the money. Exactly. On another note, on Sunday was the NBA All-Star Game. It was. So let's talk about Fergie because she oh, opened Fergie. the show oh, Fergie. doing the national anthem. And she said that she tried something new. But let's just say that she should have never tried. No, I totally new. agree. Personally, I think there have been thousands of people that have sang the national anthem, whether it's been on TV or just in like a high school gym. Right. A ton of people have sang this song. And so there's different variations of the song everywhere. But it like, Her hers was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just, I didn't like it at never, all. Not at all. There was a lot of just extra, like, inflection in her voice as she was singing it, and I I think she tried like to it. make it too dramatic. Oh, for sure. And then, like, on top of that, they also, like, put the camera on the players' faces. Yeah, and they and were like, like, what? Like, what is going on? <laughs> they were. But she actually apologized last night. So she put well, out good. a public apology apologizing for doing that rendition of the national anthem but she said she was a risk taker and that she just wanted to try something new well i mean i understand that because some like sometimes it's hard to just kind of like sing that song and just like do it the same way that everyone else has been doing it but right. still have your own like new i did flavor. i did this yeah. type thing right so also the nba also had a dunk con dunk contest and nc native dennis smith jr was the con was in the contest and received a perfect 50 score but for one of his dunks but did not receive it in the final. That's so sad. That is really sad. Like, that, but like their dunk contest is so much better than like our dunk contest. But I guess because we're you know we're still in college. But still, my favorite dunk contest ever that was on ESPN was Chris Clemens jumping over Gaylord. No, my favorite was when Chris Clemens like uh, his girlfriend passing the ball from the stands mm -hmm. and he made the dunk. Mm -hmm. That was a good one. Yeah. Mm, maybe Chris Clemens can be on the NBA. We'll see. <laughs> but also, LeBron's team won 148 to 145 against Steph Curry's team. Yes. And it came down to a la like the last possession, so last def and it ended, like the last possession. It was it. Three points. Three points. That's it. That's all I needed. Yeah, that's oh. it. So let's talk about something that I saw on Twitter yesterday. This airplane had to make an emergency <laughs> stop, and a man was kicked off the plane for passing gas too much. Realistically, that is like the worst thing that can possibly happen. That's so funny. It happened to me when I was on a plane to go to Jamaica, and I was asleep, and it just hit me. <laughs> so these tweets, people are talking about it all the time. Um, so uh, Mike McCarthy was just had a tweet up, um, and it was just like talking about like how this is crazy, like why are people doing this? And uh, so like Sadie Gasson had her t tweet, and people were just talking about it like, what the heck? Like, how bad are you farting? <laughs> Listen, if you have to pass gas on a plane, go to the bathroom. It's too many people on an airplane for you to. I'm telling you, like, when it hit me, it was deadly. Compressed spaces. Like, 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 I got a headache from somebody. Yeah. That's disgusting. It is. It, it is. is really bad. And let's talk about this weather that we're having. Yes. So it's cold outside. It's hot outside. It's rainy. It's dry. People it's are getting cloudy. the flu. Now they're going to get pneumonia. Oh, my gosh. Even know. Weather has so many factors on things. So yesterday I was out in Academic Circle. Took some pictures. Um, a ton of people were outside yeah, hanging out beautiful. on the grass. Beautiful. This morning I wake up, clouds. Everywhere, and it's it hot. It looks like and humid. it's about to rain too. Right, it's gross. Yeah, nobody wants. Look, that is. Really I want that beautiful. weather all the time. Yeah. that's what I want. That tree is really cute, isn't it? I like it. it. It's already blooming. It's February. Like what? We still have to go to March. Who knows? We'll see. But let's talk about Campbell baseball. Campbell baseball all actually opened up their series this weekend, playing St. John's, and unfortunately, the Campbells did not win the three games. Nope. However, they will play today against ECU at five. Five o'clock. At five. You're gonna be there. No, but um, I will be rooting for the Camels in spirit, as always. It's fine. I'm wearing my orange for spirit. Me too, me too. Wear Orange Wednesday, right? Yes. And today is election day at Campbell University. That's crazy. So SGA is having their elections, and voting is at D-Rich from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And, um, and so, yeah. Go make sure your voices are heard.
make sure that you vote and it's very elect important. the right person. That's right. That's right. There's two big competitors for president and vice yes. president right now. Um, and then <clears throat> but all the other positions are also very important. Secretary, treasurer, um, everything is very important for all of that. So don't think your voting is in vain. Go out and vote. Please. Go out, vote, make your voice heard. Put SGA where it needs to be. Yes. Yep. So now it's time for a commercial break. But when we get back, Jared Yaw and Rachel Nelson will be here from CAB. So stay tuned. Welcome back. We are here now with Jared Yall and Rachel Nelson from CAB. Thanks for coming to the show, you guys. Thanks for having us. Yeah, no problem. So tell me about CAB. What is it? What do you guys do? What's its purpose on campus? So CAB is the Campus Activities Board. And um, basically, our purpose in CAB is to really just get the student body involved in doing different things together, kind of just having events, hosting events, and getting us off campus or on campus, wherever it is, and just getting us all involved and spending time with one another, getting to know one another, and similar interests and things like that. So um, that's basically the overall gist of what CAB does. Um, we have a lot of other things involved as well. Right, I get that. So what are your positions on CAB? So I'm just a committee member. I'm Jared is yeah, as well. Um, okay. We are both involved in different committees, um, and I'd like to think that we're pretty active <laughs> <laughs> in getting getting a lot of things done in different committees. Okay, so I know there's some events that are coming up. Yes, uh, I know um, one of our big events tonight. We're having a hunker banquet at 6 p.m. in um, the alumni room. In the alumni room. So that's basically going to be talking about I think hunger, how we can the over, how we can overcome hunger in different areas? Yeah, it's going to be um, kind of a simula simulation of uh, kind of how hunger works around the world and different, um, whether you're high class, low class, me middle class kind of thing. Um, so it's really going to be kind of an interesting event. There'll be free food. So I highly encourage anybody who's uh, willing to come out at 6 p.m. Um, it's going to be good. I'm really excited. Cool. And then um, next, I believe it's next Monday, next the Monday. 26th, we'll be doing Stuff a Plush at 6 p.m. in Rumley, which is a really fun event. We'll be stuffing a camel. It's always a lot of fun, just a fun way. It's going to be close to spring break, you know, it's kind of easier midterm tension. And we can <laughs> take that camel home with yes, us. Yes, you can. That's you so can. awesome. That sounds like so much fun. Um, so what are your favorite events throughout the year? I know Cab does a lot of them. What are, what are your favorite events? 
I love Bacon Day. It's Me always, that's, too. That's, that's <laughs> usually a very popular one. People really seem to like that one. It's always just fun to get free food with bacon. Right. You know? Free food's the best for college <laughs> students. What about you, Rachel? Um, I think my favorite, I know we just mentioned it, is probably Stuff a Plush as well. We started it last year um, with the Small Events Committee, and I really, really enjoyed it. I love the idea of stuffing your own camel. And then we also stuffed um, little, the Valentine's Day hearts mm -hmm. um, to send to, um, the hospital for kids for Valentine's Day and I enjoyed that so much getting to stuff one of those and my own camel that I keep um, in my dorm room with me on my bed and I'd, I really enjoyed that it's a really fun time people seem to get a kick out of you know making your camel as fat or as skinny as you want right, it's a right. lot of fun so I want to see if I can get the low down I know that cab is kind of like in charge of the spring concert any yes. secrets you can tell me? We do not know. We don't know anything. Right. They keep that so tight yeah. under wraps. Mm -hmm. We don't know anything. So we'll I wish we could tell you, but we can't. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> I know everyone's like trying to figure mm -hmm. that out. Uh, well, Cab does a lot of great things. So thank you guys so much for coming on. Of course. Uh, we will be right back after another commercial break. And uh, Danielle will be back with some news. <laughs> Hi. Hoping for a crisp breeze to help keep you alert. Oh, oh, he took a sip of water, too. That'll probably help. You were probably going to turn down the radio, too, so you could focus, right? Probably OK isn't OK. Right? If you see a warning sign, stop and call a cab, a car, it. or a friend. I think the water line is what really drove it home. I blew on him. Hey, look, it's those guys. Uh, Are you good to drive? I'm fine. How many did you have? I should be fine. You should be? Go and step out of the vehicle for me. See ya, buddy. Good luck. So it turns out, buzz driving and drunk driving, they're the same thing. And it costs around $10,000. So not worth it. It takes less than one minute to find out if you may have prediabetes. You can do it here. But I get it, you're busy, and busy people can't have prediabetes. Oh, I read that wrong. They can, okay? Just go to the site. After 15 years of smoking, Eva Marie quit. There's a new lung cancer screening that could save her life. You stopped smoking, now start screening. Learn more at savedbythescan.org. Recently, our country has witnessed catastrophic devastation. Hurricanes and flooding have upended lives and livelihoods. Across this great country, Americans have answered the call. That special calling that compels us when others are down to step up and do whatever it takes. America's at our best when, against all odds, we come together and lift each other up. Please donate to oneamericaappeal.org. America needs you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back and time for the weekly news minute. On March 1st, CAB will be hosting their annual Holly Festival. The Holly Festival is a festival of color. This event will be held in Sailor Park from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Make sure you wear something comfortable and that yeah. you can get dirty. Also on March 1st, CAB is going to Durham to visit the D-Pack to see the Phantom of the Opera. On March 15th, there will be an open mic night, and it will be held at 8 p.m. in Shout. If you have any talents, come out and show out. I'll be there, so I hope to see you there. February 26th is Stuff a Plush and Rumley at 6 p.m. Take a break from studying and stuff a camel. Collegiate Day of Prayer is tomorrow, the 22nd. Join your fellow Campbell students in Butler Chapel, as, as well as students across the country in prayer. Campbell basketball is home this Saturday as the women's play at 2 p.m. and the men play their final home regular season game versus Presbyterian on senior night. That's all for your news minute. When, we'll, when we come back, we'll have Jared Young and Rachel Nelson back for a, a fun trivia game. Stick around. That was good. Good job. <laughs>
are back here with Jared and Rachel, and we are going to play some trivia. So here's how the game's going to work. Uh, you're both going to put your, a hand on the table and one hand behind your back. I'm going to ask you a question, and then you're going to ring the bell. Whoever rings the bell first gets to answer the question. If the person gets it wrong, then they get sprayed in the face with water. If they get it right, <laughs> then the other person gets sprayed in the face with water. Okay. You guys ready? I'm ready. Well, I'm going to spray somebody. Okay, okay. <laughs> sounds good. So, question number one. What is the capital of the United States? <laughs> <laughs> Washington, D.C. Good job. He gets sprayed yep, in the face? he gets sprayed. <laughs> it's refreshing, you know. <laughs> question number two. What is the name? Uh, Wait a minute. Y'all need to keep your <laughs> hands back. <laughs> Cheaters. What is the name of the famous? <laughs> I'm kind of on her side. I would have wanted to get sprayed. What water. is the name of the famous big clock in London? Oh. Rachel. Big <laughs> Ben. Aww. It's a sad day. It's a very sad day. <laughs> Number three. This is like not in the middle. No, it is. Cheaters. <laughs> Which planet is the nearest to the sun? Venus. Incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth a try. <laughs> Rachel? Oh man, I should know this. But I don't. I don't know. Do I need to? Sprint, please. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. What is the only American state to begin with the letter P? Pennsylvania. Dang it. Good job, Jaren. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Last question. When did Disneyland California open? July 17th, 1955. How do That's you know incorrect. that? Disneyland opened July 17th. Yes, but the year is wrong. 1955. It is not. It's not. I looked it up yesterday. Then you're probably wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you're wrong. Sorry. <laughs> Are you wrong, Grace? 1964. Mm -mm. Mm, I think you're wrong. <laughs> I think Gray should be sprayed. Gray, I actually think you should be sprayed in the face because it's wrong. <laughs> What in the world? No, Jared knows Disney really well. How do you know that? I know. I just know everything, you know. Disney. <laughs> but, it's okay, you know, understandable. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we see who the real loser is. It's great. Yeah. It's fine. So we'll be right back after one more commercial break. <laughs> great. show for today yes but we have a week and a half left until spring break so what are your plans for spring break i don't even know it's okay <laughs> well you guys this show has been hilarious great ended up making the wrong year for it's disney fine. but it's, it's okay fine. but that's all for our show today thank you for tuning in and join us next week at the same at the same time same place that's it for wake, wake up, up see, see you, you.